from Live Casino, I'm your host, Priestley. Have you watched any James Bond film and audit his ability to lay down winning cards while picking up the ladies? Do you know what game he was playing? Bond was playing a game known as Baccarat. How you doing, Brina? Welcome, Priestley. I'm excited to have a new player sit down at the table. And here's your first tip. The game is actually pronounced Baccarat. Baccarat? Yes. The words rhyme with car rather than cat. Baccarat dates all the way back to the Napoleon era of France. It's a French game? It seems popular in the Asian community as well. Well, the origin of the game is debated, but most historians believe it could be dated back to the 15th century France. However, many parts of Bakra appeal to the Asian demographic. For example, the number eight is pronounced Ba in Chinese, which translates to wealth and success. Eight is an important number in Bakra, which we'll go over later. Wow, I, I can't wait to learn about it. I'm ready to buy in. W where do I bet? Great. Buying in is easy. In between a hand, give the dealer cash or previously acquired chips, and the dealer will deal you in during the next round. Wait, before I get dealt in, I'm gonna need an explanation. I've only heard of Baccarat, but I'm not sure of any of the rules. Something about the number nine? The number nine is a great start. Actually, it's most of what you need to know. The main point of the game is to get the closest to nine without going over. But there are a few rules that are unique only to Baccarat. Numbered cards are worth their value from ace to nine, and the 10 face cards are nothing. So this is the one game where you want lower cards? Kind of. In most games, face cards have the highest point value and are normally deemed the most important. But in Baccarat, you want to get the closest to the number nine without going over. Seems easy. It's like the price is right, but what happens when you go over? <laughs> well, I guess you could say that. If you get over a nine, the first digit gets cut off. Take the six and seven. Normally this would be 13, but in this game it's just a three. And if we take the four and a no value card, four beats a three. So how many cards get dealt to reach nine? Do I get to hit like in blackjack? Four cards are dealt in total two to the banker, and two to the player. In some cases, the dealer may draw an extra card for both the player and or the banker. We can go over those situations in a bit, but how about we teach you how to bet? Sounds good. I see the player and the banker here. I'm guessing since I'm the player, I'll always put my bet on the player square? Actually, you don't have to. Bakra is the one game you can play on the house's side or the banker. Basically, you're betting on who will win, the banker or the player. To win, that side needs to be the closest to nine. Oh, then I'll bet on the banker. The house always wins, right? Well, not always. Bakra has one of the lowest house edges in the casino, making it appealing to both new and inexperienced players. Also, there's a small fee or commission on any wins that the player gets from betting on the banker. I still like my odds with the banker. Deal me in so I can hope to lose. Where are my cards? There's one interesting fact of Bakra. The player never touches the cards. I, as your dealer, will deal both your hand and mine. And you just sit back and see if you win. The dealer handles all of the dealing and the player just watches? This isn't the same as I remember in the Bond films. That's a different version of Bakra. We offer a similar game here known as Mini Bakra or Macau. This game allows the players to touch the cards. We also offer mini bakra or easy bakra. Easy bakra. I like the sound of that. What makes it so easy? Easy bakra is mini bakra with no commission charges for the banker wagers. Mini bakra, the cards are dealt directly from a standard show. Wait, so you're telling me the game I've been too intimidated to play may be the easiest game to play on the casino floor? Pretty much. The entire table bets on the player versus the banker. That's why you may see large groups gather around a table at once. There tends to be a lot of cheering, screaming, or cursing depending on the outcome. Many on the table will bet with the same side. So they will all win together or all lose together. It's one of the few team games on the casino floor. 
What if I want another card? Say the dealer has the four, like you said, and I have a six and a seven. How do I ask for another card? The dealer does it for you. There are many rules that the dealer has to follow. It takes days during dealer training to learn which rules apply to draw another card. For example, if you have an eight or nine or a natural card paired with a face card, the dealer will not draw another card for you. We follow these rules precisely in order to make the game fair and allow for everyone to win as much as possible. How about I take you through a few hands to show you what I mean? Sounds great. Okay, Priestley, go ahead and place your bet. All right, I think I'm gonna go with the banker this time. Okay, here we go. Player gets a one, finger gets a seven. Player decreased to zero, and banker decreased to zero. Each hand will now get another card. Player has increased to two, and banker has increased to eight. Banker now wins the hand. Very good. No, you won. I won? You won. Yes. So now we're going to take commission out. So 5% commission. And there we go. We just take it out for you. Very yes. nice. All right, why don't you go ahead and place another bet? Do I take this back too? You can leave it the same. You could do something different. I think I'm gonna go with player. player this time. All right, good luck. Player starts with a seven. Finger has nothing. Player now decreased to one instead of eleven. Okay. Finger has three. The rule here is one more card will go here. If this card is an eight, that means the hand stops. If it's anything other than an eight, we continue going. This is an eight, so player wins. Nine over three. Yes. Very good. Two in a row. Wait, wait, wait. Ooh, ooh, you sorry, sorry. the best part. So I get more. <laughs> Hashtag right. lucky at live. Let's try another one. Okay. Go ahead, place your bet. Banker or player. I think I'm going to go a little bit bigger, and I'm feeling player. Player. All right, here we go. Player starts with four. Banker has one. Player has still four. And Banker has four. Now, player's gonna get another card. The rule here is a two through seven, then Banker gets another card. So we have now increased to nine on the player side and stayed at four for the Banker. So player wins again. Yes! Priestly, you are kicking butt. Mm. Very nice. Wow! Awesome. Go ahead, place another bet. Okay. You're pretty lucky today. I was going to say, we're doing lucky. I like this. Banker. To Ooh, the banker. look at that bet. All right, to here we banker. go. Player starts with four. Banker has seven. Player increased to a natural eight. First two cards. And Banker has a one instead of 11. Player automatically wins with a natural eight. Check that out. Sorry, Priestley. No, don't check that out. Oh. There are so many ways to win after learning these basic rules. A game based entirely on luck sounds like a great game. This feels like a must try for all new players. Anything else I need to know before giving Bakura a try next time I'm here? We covered all the basic rules. Just remember, if you're struggling to pick up any of the games, just ask your dealer for help. They can help explain the rules and even give you pointers on how to bet. That goes for all table games, not just Bakura. That's why you guys are the best and deserve this. Thank you, Priestley, I really appreciate it. Now you're ready to act like a secret agent as you play the ultimate luck game, Bakra. So dry clean that tuxedo, or grab your pearls, and plan your trip soon. From Live Casino, I'm your host, Priestley. Thank you all for watching another episode of Casino 101, your guide to gaming. We'll see you again soon.